Hello there. Nerd! Hello there, fellow nerds. If you're watching this video, that means you're new to D&D and you don't know where to start. Well, I'm going to try to keep it simple for you because I know there's a lot of information out there. And the first thing you should do is pick a class. If you want to pretend you're in a kung fu movie, be a monk. I'm talking Michelle Yeoh, Jackie Chan, any character from Kung Fu Hustle, Rock Lee from Naruto, Marvel's Daredevil. Some monks can even control the elements, like the benders from Avatar. You want to be so charming it's annoying? Be a bard. Famous examples of bards are Jack Black from The Pick of Destiny, and real life, let's be honest, Bill and Ted, Jareth the Goblin King, and I've also heard a convincing argument for Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. If you want to fit right into a gladiator ring, be a fighter. So obviously this includes Maximus from Gladiator, but there's also Mulan, Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones, and fighters aren't limited to melee combat. They can also be archers, like Hawkeye from The Avengers. If you want to be the most important member of your party, be a cleric. They are the best healers in the game if they want to be. Or they can use their holy powers to be a menace on the front lines of battle. Mercy from Overwatch, Shepard Book from Firefly, Thuros of Mir from Game of Thrones, and Van Helsing from most iterations of Dracula are all clerics. Do you want to go crusading? Well, be a paladin. This class is essentially a mixture of fighter and cleric, and examples of this might be Darth Vader, Guillermo de la Cruz from What We Do in the Shadows, John Constantine from DC Comics, and Uther the Lightbringer from World of Warcraft. Do you like science? Do you love to tinker with gadgets and gizmos? Do you want to brew your own potions? Be an artificer! Join the ranks of Tony Stark, Inspector Gadget, Uncle Rick, Honey Lemon from Big Hero 6, and even Edna Mode from The Incredibles. Yes, Edna Mode would be an artificer. Do you want to work out your anger issues through roleplay instead of therapy? Be a barbarian! They excel at charging headfirst into battle and being nigh unkillable. The Incredible Hulk, Olaf from League of Legends, the aptly named Conan the Barbarian, also the Bride from Kill Bill. These are all great examples of what a barbarian can be. Do you want to be really good at stealth? Do you love to steal stuff? Have you always thought about shanking people? Be a rogue! This class consists of sneaky characters like Shaco from League of Legends, Bilbo from The Hobbit, Captain Jack Sparrow, and Laura Croft. Do you want to master the arcane arts through years of study? Be a wizard! These studious characters include Merlin, Hermione Granger from Harry Potter, and Doctor Strange. Yes, I know that he's called the Sorcerer Supreme, but in D&D, he would be a wizard. Does the whole studying thing sound like a hassle, but you still really want to be good at magic? Well, you have two other options. One, be special, or two, be a sugar baby. <laughs> if you want to be special, then be a sorcerer. Maybe they inherited their powers like Glimmer in she -Ra. Maybe it's something that was gifted slash forced upon them like John Murdoch in Dark City or Wanda in the MCU. Either way, magic just naturally flows through you. If you want to be a sugar baby, but with magic powers instead of money, be a warlock. Warlocks get their magic from a patron who gives them their powers as a sort of a allowance. Patrons come in a wide range of options. There's fey, genies, fiends, even talking swords, and a lot more besides. The most classic warlock in literature has to be Dr. Faustus, but there's also a lot more modern-day examples, such as Light from Death Note, the magical girls from Madoka Magica, and Naruto, if you consider the nine-tailed fox as his patron. I'd also argue that the witches from Hocus Pocus are actually warlocks because they made a deal with the devil. Do you like nature and animals? Well, be a ranger! These woodland trackers include Aragorn from Lord of the Rings, Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, Rambo, and Ace Ventura. Yes, you heard me correctly. Ace Ventura is a Beastmaster Ranger. Fight me about it, Internet. Do you like nature and want to be an animal? Well, be a druid. Druids focus on primal magic and have the ability to shapeshift into different creatures. Think along the lines of DC's Poison Ivy, Beast Boy, Nidalee from League of Legends, and the depiction of Radagast in the Hobbit movie. And lastly, there is another option that's technically not an official class, but it's quite popular, so I have to include it. I'm referring to Bloodhunter. Now, what is a Bloodhunter, you might ask? Well, they're the people who try to fight evil at their own game. They use dark magic and potions to increase their fighting capabilities. The best example of this is Geralt and all the other Witchers from the Witcher franchise. There's also some comic book heroes, such as Blade and Spawn. 
I'd also argue that Hugh Jackman's version of Van Helsing falls into this category as well. And that's all the classes. Next up, you should pick a race, but that's going to be a different video, so stay tuned and subscribe and all that jazz. See you next time. Bye, everybody!